everyone. Um, I've come up with a problem since I updated Windows 10. Now, um, it has something to do with the taskbar. Now, it normally functions okay when, you know, normally here uh, on the desktop and stuff like that. When I press press Windows button, it brings it open and stuff like that. Yeah, when I press it down, you know, not having it, it closes automatically. But the problem arises when I am in full screen mode. For example, now when I want to press the Windows button, yeah, everything comes up normally as it should, but um, that's not quite it. Um, when I, whenever I scroll, you know, across these things I have in the taskbar, you can see that it disappears. Where did it go? And it's just like it's so annoying that well for example when I am not in full screen mode this does not happen. You can see. Let's compare. I have this uh, task manager here. Whenever I pull my mouse over it when I'm in full screen mode in an application it disappears. The taskbar. Even if I press it again, no, this is, this none of this happened in Windows 7. It was so slick and stuff like that. But I thought to myself, since that Windows 7 is soon to be very obsolete, um, and this free update of Windows 10 is going uh, uh, going to end, you know the decision that I can update it freely is it's not gonna be free for a whole lot of time anymore I mean I believe it was something like a month still to go uh, you can google it like um, Windows 10 free update or upgrade expiration date something like that I think you'll get the answer but um, anyway, the problem I'm facing, you see it here. In any full screen application, when I roll over these things, um, they disappear. Um, it doesn't help when I got uh, properties or, you know, lock this taskbar. Sorry, it's all finished, but um, the lock, this, lock the taskbar is um, basically that I can get it out like that, but I can't really resize it, so that doesn't help. Um, when I get it off, I can, you know, I can resize and stuff like that, move it. But, um, when I go to properties, here you can see these, um, that was the lock. But, um, here you can see automatical, um, hiding of the taskbar so that it goes off, goes down automatically when I pull my mouse over it. If I put it like that, it's basically there all the time. So yeah. Um I guess this would do it if I had to do this, but you know, I like to have a full screen application so that there's nothing to bother here as I had in Windows 7, but if I put it back there like that, it's just you know and none of these help either. So, yeah, I'm really sorry that I have this in Finnish, but um, I, I don't know how to change my language at the moment. I can try it, but, um, yeah, this is the problem I'm facing now. Another example, when um, I'm going to Chrome, for example, now you can see this is in full screen mode right now when I come out of it, there's no problems with the taskbar, none at all. But when I go back to the full screen and press Windows button, you can see that the taskbar keeps on, you know, it just keeps on missing. It's so annoying. And none of this happened in Windows 7. And I'm really starting to feel like this is going to be a problem. And I don't want no problems, you know. I don't think anyone was once. 
So if that's the only way how to how can I change something when I'm in full screen, like pressing Alt and Tab, which brings this up, which is basically the same as Windows is included here, but with the desktop view. That is gonna be a problem. So from the people of internet, I request help to this problem. So I can have better experience on my Windows 10. But um, for me, Windows 10 has worked uh, okay, I guess. But there's gonna there has been some problems and stuff like that, which I have not overly liked. As you can probably expect. But hey, I'm gonna call it a video. Please leave suggestions what I could do. Um, in the comments down below. If someone knows how to fix this, if there is a way, if you have Windows 10, does this appear on um, on your Windows 10? And by the way, out of the free update, you can update it freely from Windows 7, and you can go back to Windows 7, and if you still want to go to Windows 10, try it out another time, you can do that just as well. And yeah, you can downgrade it to Windows 7. I could do it right now, although it's my second time. So it's not like, like, hey, I tested this once, but now it costs me money because I didn't like it. No. Uh, 